Welcome to Bigfoot Codes. In this video, we are going to take a look at how to handle different screen resolutions in mobile development and testing them out with the device simulator inside of Unity. I'm going to be using the assets of an idle game we've been working on the past few months. Also, as always, if you like the videos, please consider leaving a comment and subscribing. Okay, so I have an empty scene here. I created three different resolutions. The one is going to be full HD, it's 1080 by 1920. And the other one is the iPhone X, it's 1125 by 2436. And then uh, I did a generic tablet uh, 3.4. So this is going to be like our normal base resolution. This is going to be for taller devices and more skinny devices. And this is going to be for wider devices. I also have some graphics from a game that we worked on. It's called Fist of Fury. I will leave a link to the game as well if you want to check it out. And I created a prefab with some UI elements to it. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a canvas. So let's go to UI canvas. Okay. I'm going to drag and drop this here. Okay. So like I said, we're going to use as a base resolution full HD. So let's go to canvas. We're going to change the canvas scaler. So we want to use scale with screen size. And we're going to do the reference resolution 1080 by 1920. Okay, perfect. Then the last thing we need to do is to change the screen match mode to expand and then just make sure that this is in 0, 0, 0, 0. And then we have our perfect UI there set up. So what happens now if we change the resolutions? So in this example, you can see that there's some UI that exceeds the, the borders of, of the game. So if we go to a wider resolution, for example, tablets, we're going to be able to see that extra UI and the content will be centered. That, that, that's why this is called centered. Now, you, you may have different behaviors here. So I'm going to explain a few different ones and you can choose whatever, whichever one fits best for your game. So this is a really straightforward one. So the way to do this is just create your whole game in this resolution and then if you want to show something else on the edges you just do that and make sure that all of your important part of the game is between these boundaries and then you're set if the device is it's wider you're going to see it like this and if it's taller you're going to see some extra things in the bottom so here you can see that this is you, you can see three and a half and if you go to full hd you only see like two and three quarters so this is really straightforward. Now, what do we do if we want to actually take advantage of this extra screen? Because here it's just lying around, we're not doing anything with it. What if we want to take advantage with our game of that extra screen? So let's go back to Full HD. I'm going to copy this, duplicate it, sorry. Just turn this off. Let's call this Expand. So what if we want, for example, our top to just take up the whole width, same with the bottom HUD, and we want to spread this out. So let's see how we can actually do that pretty simple. So let's open our top HUD. You can delete both of these since we won't need the edges anymore. Let's just do this inside of the prefab. Or actually, just to make this easier, let's just unpack the prefab so we can work here. Okay. So let's just remove both of these. And we want the background, instead of being anchored only to the top, we want also to expand to the sides. So pressing shift on this icon. Now, if we just go to tablets, we can see that this takes up the whole width. Okay, so that, that's good for the background. Now we need everything inside of it to expand as well. So let's first get the map. We want to actually this to remain on the top right corner. So again, we go to the anchor, we press shift, and then we click this one. So it's going, always going to maintain the same difference to the top and to the right corner. So if we go to 3, 4 now, yeah, we can see it's staying there. Now, what happens if we want to actually scale this bar as well? So that's pretty easy as well. We can, we can do most of this with anchors. We can take the points bar. We can actually, again, press shift. Make sure it stretches to the side. So it's always going to be 100 or actually 91, 91 pixels from the left and 185 to the right. So if we do this, you see that our bar is much bigger now. And let's spread these out a little bit as well. So another easy trick for this 
is to actually create, let's go to create a horizontal layout. We can put all three of these as a child. And just add a component, horizontal layer group. We want this to be middle and centered. We want this again to take up the whole width. So let's zero to the left, zero to the right. And we just position it where we want it. So let's just do it there. If we want to maintain this align, we can actually add some padding to this. So let's do it like Let's do 35, 35, 35. Okay, so it's contained there. Now we go to 3, 4. You can see that this is going to take much higher width of the screen. So let's do something similar with the bottom HUD. Let's open it up. We're going to actually change the background since we don't want this anymore. We'll, we just want the a plain sprite, so let's just change it to that. Okay, we're going to do exactly the same as we did to the top. We're going to select the bottom and stretch. We're going to do zero and zero. Now the full, the full thing expands, the full background. We want, for this case, the settings and the inbox to maintain the position on the bottom right. So we do exactly like we did with the map. We do with this. Now if we change it, yeah, it maintains that. And with the icons, we're going to do something similar that we did with, with this uh, element. We're going to actually create again a horizontal layout. Let's add this here. We add the three icons as, as a child. We select, in this case, we're going to select lower center. And we're going to expand it as well. But we don't want actually to take up the whole width because we have those these icons here. So we actually want something like that. And here, yeah, you can just put zero on the right. Let's do zero on the right and 400 on the left. We just position it where we want it. So something like that. Okay. And then we can see how this behaves on a wider device. Everything that I'm showing also behaves uh, perfectly in iPhone X, as you can see, the bottom and the top. We have all three resolutions working with the top and bottom HUD. Now we need to do the same thing for the content. That's fairly easy as well. Uh, let's see, just open up contents. Just to make this easier, I'm going to make a prefab of the row. So, okay, let's do that. I'm just going to duplicate this. Okay. All right. So now for the row, if we want it to expand, we need to do two things. First, we need the background. Instead of being a fixed size, we need to have it anchored again to the left and to the right. And also we need to make sure that the container the, the parent container is also stretched to the left and to the right. So now if we go to 3, 4, there's something probably here that's not stretching correctly. Yeah, so the row is actually not stretching. I messed that up. So again, stretch. Make sure when you, when you change this, you're in full HD. Because this happens. So we, we want it, to, for example, to be 22, 22. Yeah. 15 or 00, zero actually. Yeah, that works. Now if we apply these changes. It applies to all of them. If we go to 3, 4, you can see that it's expanding. I don't know why this is not taking the change. That's weird. We can just duplicate it again. I don't know what, what's happening there, but it's not important. So now that we have this background adjusting we're going to do the same thing for the elements you already know what we're going to do we're going to create a horizontal layout we're actually going to unpack this so we don't get any warnings add a horizontal layout group just going to center it we're going to make sure it expands we're going to go zero and zero 
now this is taking too much room so let's just go 20 20 and now if we go to 3 4 you can see that this takes up the whole screen so that's pretty good iPhone X looks good you can just duplicate this we can have the full screen again and yeah you can see in all three resolutions that we have a crystal clear UI we have one taking up the whole screen if we want to expand everything and then we have one that maintains everything centered so it's your call how you want to do this now this has an issue that we can't see in the editor but if you were to build for example on an iPhone X you're gonna see that the notch is gonna be eating up our screen and that's not the behavior that we want so since Unity 2019.3 you can actually go to window package manager and look for device theme make sure you have the preview packages turned on because it's not fully released yet you have the device simulator you can install this okay so once you have this installed you can see that there's a new tab here and it shows game and simulator so if you go to simulator you can actually see a whole list of devices of mobile devices so this is super useful for example if we go to iphone x we see again that the notch it's eating up our screen and the, the safe area also in the bottom for the notifications HUD, uh, it's going to be compromised as well so we need to fix that so the easiest way to fix this is i've attached a script it's called safe area what you actually need to do is go to the canvas Create a new child, it's called this safe area. Make sure this is expanded to take up the whole width. So let's zero, 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 zero. It take up, takes up our whole container. Make sure every, everything in your UI is a child of that. And attach this script to here. Just leave it as is. Uh, just remember, I'm gonna leave the whole project uh, in the description so you can download it and see everything for yourself and get the script. And now what happens when you press play, you can see that the safe area is taken into account. So now your UI takes into consideration both safe areas at the top and at the bottom. Now to make everything a little bit more pretty in the device, one thing you can do is actually take, for example, this background in the bottom HUD, and just expand it down a bit. Do the same thing in the top. So just grab it and it expand for a bit so now when you press play at least you can keep the same color as your ui showing it's not the best solution but there's nothing there's not much you can do with uh safe areas so this is the best approach we found and easiest this is going to be it for this video i hope you found this tutorial helpful to learn how to handle different resolutions inside of unity also let me know in the comments below what topic would you like to see covered next in the upcoming videos thanks for watching see you